Hello, I'm Quill West. Hopefully you've arrived at this video after seeing our first two. This is the third video in a tutorial on searching for open resources. The tutorial promotes the idea that searching for OER is more about the interaction between the teacher and person who will search for the OER than the actual search. In this video, we will search for some specific resources. Please revisit the first two videos and the templates to help in planning your search process. After your initial contact and interview with the faculty member and armed with your topic list, you can begin to search for open materials. The first and easiest thing to search for are open textbooks. I mostly use the open textbook library from the University of Minnesota to get started. Simply search for the broad discipline and choose the materials that appear to fit the general descriptions that the faculty member mentioned in the initial meeting. Be sure to record anything you find making a note of the title, URL, and license in your searching template. Think of the template as your research notebook. It will help to write brief comments on the materials that you choose to include in your collection. I like to send faculty an email including any open textbooks to review before doing any more extensive searches. Because sometimes faculty members decide to develop their whole course using the open textbook. After the textbook, I like to search for specific lessons, articles, or tutorials based on the course topics. There are a variety of websites that help to organize open repositories and search tools. I usually start with a library guide, like this one from Spokane Falls Community College. For the purposes of demonstration, let's do a search for Library of Congress call numbers in Merlot. Remember, when possible, it is best to search Merlot by community because the indexing is more robust. However, when there isn't a community for your discipline, such as now, you can do a subject search. Here is a hint. In traditional databases and search engines, specificity in your keywords can make your search more successful. However, because most OER repositories aren't using a full range of controlled vocabulary, you have to strike a general balance between describing what you want and finding a keyword that will help you get to the most results. Just like learning to search an extensive vendor database, striking the right balance comes with time and practice. I recommend challenging yourself to find materials outside of your discipline from time to time. Sometimes you find a great resource that isn't openly licensed. This is why you have a section for freely available resources in your template. Freely available materials are free on the web, but they are fully copyrighted. We can link to these materials, but we can't download, save, or revise any of the materials. Rather than doing a show and tell of all of the places to find open materials, I think it would be better for you to try searching on your own. Please use a library guide or openwa.org to seek out the best places to search for OER and to try a few searches on your own. The library community is always happy to help you find materials. There is an open education resource group from Spark, and there is a group of librarians involved in the CCC OER. See the links on the website associated with this tutorial. Please connect with the open education library community. We are always happy to help.